If you'd like to see my review for this palette here, then please stay tuned. Hey guys, so recently I got this product in the mail and I'm super happy about it, but firstly I want to say I've been really busy painting my room, so if you see like random little white dots on things that is from the paint, it is nothing else. So without further ado, I got the Jeffree Star Morphe palette. And something I noticed right away, and I'll read the back here in a minute, something I noticed right away, these are definitely meant to be sold in store only, because when they're packaged in the bubble wrap, it's like, you see what I mean? So that's just something that was just kind of, I mean, that's normal, but I'm just, his other stuff is normally sold online, so the packaging is like, good with the bubble wrap, you know what I mean? I don't know. Anyways, on the, so here's a statement on the back, and I'm going to read this for you guys, and it says, we all know I live for making a bold statement, especially with my makeup. This world needs color, and I'm serving it by the pound. I'm so excited to once again create magic and magic with Morphe and bring this beyond stunning palette of velvety vivid shades to life into your hands. Jeffree Star approved, all created for you, one touch, and you'll be hooked. So dive in and explore your creativity. Love plus lipstick, Jeffree Star. I don't know why he didn't want to read that on his video. That's like nothing bad. Anyways... Here is the palette. First off, let's just take a minute. This thing is so beautiful. Like, this is like Barbie IRL. Like, this is amazing. I love this. So, let's pop it open. And I did open it once just to show my family, but I didn't swatch any of the colors yet. So, after I open it, you can see my face. But, yeah, it's really, really pretty. I just don't want to, like, bend it all up so you guys can see the colors. And then we're going to swatch them all, so give me just a second. But these are so pretty. The Millions one I was the most excited about. I wanted to see how does that work. So I'm definitely going to be using that on my eyelid today. These are all so beautiful. I'm so happy with this purchase. Like, I was like, do I have enough money? But it's, it's okay. It's worth it. So I'm just going to start, like... I'm sorry, I know I keep saying that, but this is so beautiful. And he's even got a color called Nate. But anyways, let's do the welcome back to my channel colors. So here, welcome back to, hold on, I'll say something in just a second, my channel One noise. Okay. I love Jeffree Star, but I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. First impressions, just by touching those first couple shades, this is chalky. Like, I don't know if you guys can see, but... Oh, that sucks. But maybe that's just the first row, because let me compare, um... Let me see, I have the, over here, just a second, it's in one of these drawers. I think it's in this one. Yeah, this Alien palette here, if I can get it out. I apologize, but I have a lot of stuff in here, I own a ton of makeup. But anyways, here's the Alien palette, and let's just compare the color, uh, like you see that first shade? I think Pluto is a pretty close match, so look, um, and just so you guys can see, I'm not doing anything. Look, just one touch on his his own brand. Can you guys see the difference? I hope you guys can. Like, you can see how there's all kinds of chunks in this one, and then this one's very smooth. So, I've never used Morphe before, but I have used Jeffree Star's products. And I've got to say, they kind of made his products a little cheaper than what they are. And I realize his palette's cheaper, but they kind of did him bad. So, let's... Let's go on with the next shades. Okay, so I'm just gonna go like that, and they're gone. So I'm gonna take the next row, which is Lynn, 1985, Mogul, I don't know, Self Made, Dog Mom, and Honest Truth. So I'm gonna start, and I'm just swatching these. I just have it sitting in my lap, that way it's easier to do, but just, I'm just gonna do this for you guys. So Lynn. 1985. Do you see what I mean by like these colors? I like this one might be nice. Yeah, that one's beautiful. Okay, so the pinks are very nice, which luckily that's a lot of the palette. 
So they did him good on the pinks, but the other formulas, they kind of did him bad. Okay, so here's the dog mom. So I'm interested to see what that Millions color looks like then. Honest truth. That's how those look. Those look a bet. Those look better. That row looks a lot better. Okay. So now designer label, Mr. Diva, Boss Angeles, Pink Fleet, and Calabasas. Don't know her. I'm gonna swatch that row. So this one is the designer label, Mr. Diva, Boss Angeles. Pink Fleet, and this one's a really pretty color, so I hope it's watch as well. Not as good as these ones, but it's okay. Calabasas, this one's a really pretty color. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm from the south, and I've never been anywhere near there, so I might not be saying it right. Don't know her. This one's also really pretty. Yeah, that one swatches nicely. Okay, the next row is rolls with it, the millions color girl, what's the tea, vroom vroom, and custom rooms. That's this row here, so I'm going to swatch that, and then I have that row left still. So I've got two rows left. So roll with it. This one looks like it's going to swatch nicely. Yeah, that one actually did transfer nicely. Okay, the millions color. You know what? I am impressed. I just rolled my finger in it, and it still looks exactly the same. And I still have to paint over there, sorry. Let's see how that looks on the... I mean, if you were to apply that with an eyeshadow brush, it'd look a lot nicer, but... It's almost got, like, look. Can you see, like, it's got, like, pink underneath of it? Hope you guys can see that. Okay. Girl, what's the tea, vroom vroom, and custom rims. So I'm gonna start. That color is girl. This is what's the T. Vroom vroom. And custom rooms. So as you can see, I'm starting to get full. So I guess I'm just going to swatch it like right here, the other row. And then the next row says Glam Rapids, Wake and Bake, Nate, Drive Through, High Dude, and First Lane. So we're going to take this color is Glam Rapids. So that's that one. Wake and bake, which this is a pretty color. Like I think that would be like a nice like for the lid to blend out with really vibrant shades. That's the Nate color. That one I like. That one's super pretty. Drive through. Also pretty. That one's kind of a weed color as well. Hi dude. And first lane. Okay, so the first row didn't swatch as well, but all the other ones did much better, so that's a good thing. My hands are, like, covered. So let me go wipe this all off of me. Okay, guys, so I think I'm going to go in bold and just go in with the color Pink Fleet, which is this one, and I'm going to start with that because that is so beautiful. I just can't help myself. So let's just pop that. Okay, these transfer nicer to the eyelid than they do to the skin, which some eyeshadows do that. I don't know why they just do. This might be one of those. My dogs are barking, so let me go work on blending this out and making it look nice, and I'll come back to you guys. Okay, so now I'm going to take the color Self Made, which is this really, really bright pink, and I'm going to throw that in my crease as well. I guess I'm going to do some kind of a cut crease look, which is what I normally do, but I don't know. I feel like this kind of palette is just screaming for that. And I might be wearing too much pink because I didn't realize pink my eye look was going to be, but you know what, it's okay. And the gloss that I'm using is the Alme Goddess Gloss, and this is in the color, oh god, rainbow. And this one is what I've got on my lips currently. So yeah, I'm just going to go slap on some more colors, and we'll see what happens. Right now I'm just working on building up the intensity of the pink, so just take all kinds of different shades and build up the intensity, but I'll be right back. Okay, so I've done a cut crease with foundation, and I just realized I don't have on a ring light. Hold on just a second. Hopefully that's a little bit better. I don't even know if it makes a difference. But anyways, uh, I'm going to go in with the color 2, which is this one right here. And I'm going to put that in my inner corner just to see what it looks like. And keep in mind, I have foundation to make this sticky and apply better. 
but it does look nice. It didn't transfer as well to the arm, but sometimes shadows do that. Anyways, I'm just going to go work on building this up because I can see this and I need to reshape it, so I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm going to take the color designer label, which is this one right here, and put that in my, um, or on my eyelid as well, and then I'm going to go over that with the color millions. I just want to use this as kind of like a blending shade. So yeah. I'm gonna do that. Just wanted to show you guys exactly what I was doing, so if anyone wants to recreate this or is interested, then yeah. Anyways, I'll be right back. Make sure that doesn't fall. Anyways, I figured I'd record this part testing out the Millions color. Because I'll see what it does on camera. Um, you guys can see that I'm putting that on, right? Okay, I'm like really packing it here now. I'm not trying to be like shady or anything. This is just expected it to be a little bit better. I mean, it's still pretty okay, but not as good as I had hoped. But I mean, again, it was $20 cheaper than his normal palettes, so that could be why. Or it could just be Morphe's products. I'm not sure. Because this is my first time using Morphe. Anyways, I'm gonna go see what I can do to make this look less, like, um, unfinished, and I'll be back. I'm gonna take that Don't Know Her color right here. I'm gonna pop that in my outer corner and see if that helps to blend this together a little bit. Yeah, that's what I needed. Okay, I just don't know how I feel about this. Okay, let me finish up this look. And then I'll judge everything. But yeah, just want to show you guys that. I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished up with fake eyelashes and such, and that's what it looks like. But my final reviews on this, I'm going to give this about a 3.5 out of 5. Probably a 3. 3 out of 5. Because, okay, it's Jeffrey. It's pretty. It's nice. Of course you're going to want it. So that gives it 1 star. The second one is really pretty pinks. They're nice. They come out beautifully. And that's nice. So that's the second star. Third star... I'm not really sure. I just, I feel like it deserves three stars. But the reason I'm knocking stars off is because it is not like his products. Which I realize it's a collaboration with Morphe, but if it's Jeffree Star, you know you expect something really high. Another star that I'm knocking off is, um, I could create this exact same look with Wet n Wild products and probably get the exact same result. So that's why I'm just taking it down because it's not really worth the extra money if I could just get Wet n Wild products. You know what I mean? And it's not like I'm trying to use specific brands, that's just I know Wet n Wild makes a lot of products similar to this, especially that million shade. They've got a little single gold eyeshadow that looks like that. So that's that. What else can I say? Hmm. It cost me $40 for this eyeshadow palette which is only $10 less than I paid for this one because it's shipping and stuff but it cost me $10 less for this one or $10 less for this one but I would have rather paid the 10 extra to get a product like this rather than like this if that makes sense so I don't know is it worth your money? I honestly don't think so it's not sorry I'm just trying to wipe it off but um yeah I don't know if it's worth the money it's cool it's interesting if you want a collector's piece I would get it but as for, like, is it functional every day, I'd rather use a drugstore product. And I know that sounds kind of, like, rude or whatever, but I'm trying to be completely honest with you guys. Like, this is, it's good, but it's not as good as it could be. You know what I mean? But anyways, yeah, that's my review. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and bye, guys.